Hi everyone, welcome to today's 30 minute full body Pilates workout where we will begin in a child's pose at the back of our mats. So when you are ready, let's go ahead and situate ourselves with our knees wide apart, big toes towards each other as you begin to walk your hands out forward, slowly drawing your forehead close to the mat. Settle in, keep bringing your hips back and down towards the heels and keep lengthening through your fingertips through your arms. Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful job, slowly lifting up onto your fingertips, bringing your head off the mat just a little. Walk your hands over to your right side, hold here and breathe. Bring your left hip back and down, keep your body nice and close to the mat. Then carefully walk your hands in through center, bring them over to your left, bringing your right hip back and down, keeping your body nice and close to the floor. And carefully bring yourself all the way back through center and let's come up onto our hands and our knees. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Take a nice deep breath in to prepare. Exhale to round your back body, look towards your belly button. Let's push the floor away. Inhale carefully, lift your tailbone, lift the chest, look forwards or look up. And let's do that one more time. Nice exhale to round the spine. And inhaling to arch through the back body. And come through to a neutral spine. Keep everything exactly as it is. We're just going to begin to walk the hands out forward. So hips stay over the knees. Bring your hands out as far forwards as you can, then hold. As you breathe out, draw your forehead closer to the mat. If your hands slide away from you, if you have space, make sure you're in control. Armpits closer to the floor here. Hips up, belly button in towards your spine. One more full breath. carefully begin to back off walk your hands in back onto your hands and your knees here you can shuffle yourself forwards on your mat like i need to then extend your left leg back pushing into the heel let's push into the heel exhaling and hold here feeling a stretch through the back of your leg your calf now shift your shoulders back over the wrists stay as you are bring your right arm up towards the ceiling rotating open then as you exhale carefully thread your right arm underneath your left bringing your right shoulder your right temple down onto the floor keep pushing into your left heel keep your hips square if you can and if you are comfortable too you have the option to extend your left arm out in line with the left side of your body here let's take one full breath Carefully backing off, left hand comes in, push the floor, right arm up to the ceiling, we rotate the chest open, the shoulder, and come back down, bring your left leg back in, all fours. Other side, extend your right leg back, push into the heel, hold for your stretch in your right calf muscle. Then carefully shift your shoulders back over the wrists, press into your right hand this time, we lift the left arm up, nice deep breath in. Exhale, rotate through the chest and thread your arm underneath your right, bringing your left temple, your left shoulder down, hips up, belly button to spine, push into your right heel. And if you want to, you can extend your right arm in line with the right side of your body. One more breath. really nice when you have finished carefully bring your right hand in first push the floor lift back up bring the left arm all the way up open through the chest open through the shoulder we inhale exhale rest your hand back down again bring your right knee back in as well now let's change positions coming to sit on your glutes bring your legs out long in front and then shuffle yourself towards the front of your mat keeping a three-quarter bend in the knees keeping your feet hip distance apart point your toes down to the floor bring your arms out forwards relax your shoulders down inhale to prepare long spine exhale we round back and lay ourselves all the way down onto the mat with control come to lie on your backs and bring your arms overhead full body stretch 
Go ahead and bend the knees in, placing your feet flat on the floor. Bring your arms down by the sides of your body. Feet are hip distance. Heels are closer to your hips than you would normally have them. Let's go ahead and imprint the spine. Press into your feet, your heels, lift the hips, followed by your spine, come up one vertebra at a time, hold at the top, breathing in, and exhale, come back down, top to bottom, one vertebra at a time. Let's repeat this movement a few more times. We exhale to lift up, inhale to hold at the top, and exhale to come back down. Beautiful job. Now let's add some arms. So the next time you lift the hips, the spine, reach your arms overhead, then bring everything back down again. So we'll inhale to lift, reach the arms overhead, and exhale to come back down. And we'll add on a little bit more on this next one. So lift up, reach the arms overhead. This time as you release the spine, reach your arms forward, curl your chin over your chest, and then let's go back down, reaching the arms and lifting up into your bridge. So we inhale to lift into our bridge position, exhale to curl and repeat. Making sure that each time that you come up into your bridge position, you're engaging your glutes, keeping the ribs in, belly button to spine. And the next time that you come up in your curl, let's hold here and we reach forwards. Just reaching forwards as you draw the ribs down and down, four more, and three more, two, and one. Well done, let's go ahead and rest the head, hug your knees into your chest. You can turn your head gently over to one side and then over to the other side. Bring your hands onto your knees and let's bring the knees in nice big opposing circles, rotating around the hips, going in one direction and then reversing the direction of the circle so we go both ways. Bring your feet back down onto the floor, bring your arms down by your body and now let's lift the legs one at a time to a tabletop position imprinting your spine. Now let's lower the right leg down, bring your leg back in, switching over left leg down, bring your leg back in. Bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers and let's add a curl to that. So let's curl the chin over the chest, lower the right leg, bring everything back in. Then curl, lower your left leg, bring everything back in. Let's exhale to curl and inhale to rest. Keep alternating sides. Now on this next one, shoot your right leg hold, bring your arms out by your sides and let's pump the arms for our hundreds and let's also switch the legs out. So we inhale four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. As you keep pumping your arms and keep switching your legs out nice and slow for a count of five each time. Keep reaching away through the toes, keep squeezing your legs, keep breathing. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One, inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, hug your knees in. Turn your head gently over to one side, and then gently over to the other side, releasing any tension in your neck. And let's go ahead and place the feet back down onto the floor. Extend your left leg away from you. Bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. Inhale to prepare, exhale to twist over to the left as you bring your left knee, inhale to return. So we exhale, twist to the left, inhale to extend the leg back. Really think about reaching your elbow to the outside of your knee as you lift through both sides of your shoulders, squeezing through the side of your waist. We exhale to twist and hold this next one bring both your hands to the outside of your left leg straighten your left leg and extend hover your right leg we reach forwards for eight seven six five four three two and one and rest everything hug your knees into your chest and let's go ahead and begin on the other side 
Place your feet flat on the floor and extend your right leg, hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. We curl, twist over to the right and then extend everything back. Exhale to twist to your right, pulling elbow to knee. Inhale to come back through center. Think about reaching your left elbow this time to the outside of your right knee as you bend your leg in, lifting up through both sides of your shoulders. And we exhale to twist. Hold this next one, extend your right leg, bring both your hands to the outside of your right leg, interlace your fingers, extend, hover your left leg and pulse forwards for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Rest everything, hug your knees into your chest and let's go ahead and extend the legs out long, reach the arms overhead, take a stretch. Now let's perform our roll up. On your inhale, nod your chin to your chest, curl up, exhale to reach over the legs and fold, tuck your chin and draw your shoulders away from your ears, inhale to come back up and exhale, lay yourself all the way back down, reach your arms overhead. Let's do three more of those. Keep squeezing your inner thighs together and reaching your toes away from you, squeezing your legs as you come up and also as you come back down. Make the movement really slow and controlled. Remember to keep any momentum out of this exercise. Use your breath and use the strength of your abdominals to lift yourself away from the floor and come back down with control each way. And the next time that you come up, we'll hold in our forward fold at the top of the mat. Let's release the fingertips to the floor, push the heels away, hold for your stretch. Three, two, and one. Carefully bring yourself back up and shake your legs out. Now let's prepare for our roll like a ball. So let's go ahead and bend the knees in. Bring your hands onto your shins. You can also hold to the backs of your legs if you prefer. Then round back slightly, engaging your abdominals and lift your feet off the floor one at a time. Bring your forehead close to your knees. We inhale to rock the length of our spine. Exhale to come back up, keeping those feet off the floor. And again, inhale, we rock back. Exhale, we come back up. Make sure that you are not throwing your head back, that you're keeping your forehead nice and close to the knees the whole entire time with control and one more this time we'll hold at the top then lift your head bring your arms out by your sides and lift your legs extend your legs a little bit more holding in your teaser in your boat position let's tap one foot to the floor and tap the other foot to the floor so just scissoring your legs breathing in to tap and breathing out to tap Keep your belly button close in towards that spine. Just three, two, and one. Bring your feet down onto the mat. Bring your hands behind your back. Push into your feet, push into your hands. We exhale to lift the hips and hold in our reverse tabletop position. Carefully bring everything back down onto the mat. Lengthen your legs out long and let's shake the legs out. Shuffle yourself back towards the front of your mat if you need to and bend the knees. Bring your hands out forwards, lengthen your spine. Now let's round back in our C curve, hold. Then open your left arm, reach back. Close your arm back in and come back up, bring your arms up with you. Let's round back again, open your right arm, we reach back. Close the arm back in and come back up. So we exhale, round back, open the left arm, reach back. Inhale, close the arm and come back up. Let's keep alternating sides as we are doing this movement. Think about really keeping your ribs in and down even as you open and reach back through the arm. And each time that you close the arm, really think about squeezing the arm back forwards so we feel that work through the side of the waist. This will be our last one. So we round back, open to the left side, close, come back up, and your last one to your right so we're nice and even. This time as you close the arm, hold in your C-curve, bring your arm slightly higher up. We'll pose back eight times and seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale to come up, lengthen your legs, reach the arms up, and exhale, reach over your legs and fold. Hold in your stretch, push your heels away from you, hold and breathe. Think about sending the hips in the opposite direction. Then come up to a seat, shake your legs out. Sit nice and tall with your sitting bones against the mat. And bring your arms up to the ceiling, interlace your fingers so legs are long, reach into the toes. Palms face down, elbows are soft. Now let's lift one leg up at a time. We exhale to lift the leg, inhale to lower down, then switch legs. As you are doing this, try to squeeze your leg. Try to keep your spine really nice and long, so make sure that you're not leaning back too much. Now bring your arms down by your sides, next to your knees, rearrange, lean back slightly, engage your abdominals, and let's repeat our leg lifts. So single leg lifts, one at a time, exhaling to lift, and inhale to lower down. So we are working through our abdominals, our lower abdominals, as well as our quads here. See if you can lift your leg a little bit higher each time and rest, come back up. Let's take the feet out wider apart now. So wider than hip distance, push into the heels, arms wide open to a T. Twist over to your left, we pulse. Twist over to your right and we pulse. So you exhale, exhale, inhale, return. And exhale, exhale, inhale, return. Keep your spine long, keep your shoulders relaxed and keep your sitting bones down on the floor the whole entire time. Now shake your legs and your arms out and let's come into our side kneeling position today. So setting up on your right side first, we'll prop ourselves up onto our right knee. Have your left leg extended so your right wrist and your right knee and your left foot are all in one line. Stacking your shoulder above your wrist, bring your left hand onto your hip. Belly button to spine, ribs in and down, engaging your abdominals. We lift the left leg up and we tap the floor. Exhale to lift, inhale to tap the floor. Keep the rest of your body still. Keep thinking about bringing the right side of your waist away from the mat and away from the shoulder. Exhale to lift the leg, inhale to tap the floor. Hold your leg lifted high and now let's make tiny little circles in one direction. Keep breathing and now reverse the direction of your circles. We go the opposite way. Keep breathing. Hold your leg still. Bring your left hand behind your head. Exhale. Pull elbow to knee. Squeeze the side of your waist. Exhale. Extend. So we inhale to bend and exhale to extend. Squeeze to the side and squeeze the leg as you extend the leg back. Just two more of these. And last one. Hold your leg extended. Bring your left arm up to the ceiling and let's pulse the leg up. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest everything coming into your mermaid position. And let's bring the right arm up and over. Holding for your well-deserved stretch and bring everything back down again and we'll set ourselves up on our left side. So propping yourself up on your left hand, your left knee, extending your right leg out long, keeping your wrist, your knee and foot in one line. Right hand onto your hip, open the chest, tuck your tailbone slightly under, engaging the abdominals, ribs to hips, belly button to spine. On your exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale, we tap the floor. Really squeeze your leg to use the strength of your leg to support you in lifting your leg as high as you can while keeping everything else still in your body. We exhale to lift the leg, inhale to tap the floor. And we have just two. Last one, we hold at the top. Let's make those tiny little circles going in one direction for four, three, Two, and now reverse the direction of your circles. We go the opposite way. Keep breathing. Just four, three, two, and hold your leg extended. Bring your right hand behind your head. We inhale to crunch, exhale to extend, squeezing through the side and squeezing the leg. And just four more to go. Keep breathing. We're almost there. Just two more. 
And last one, hold your leg extended, bring your right arm up to the ceiling, we pulse up. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest everything, come down into your mermaid seat. Feet are out over to the right this time, or we'll bring the left arm up and over, stretching through your left side, your shoulder. And release all the way out of your stretch and let's settle in onto our hands and our knees so coming into your four point kneeling position rest underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hips let's move through a few cats and cows rounding your spine as you exhale and arching through your back body as you inhale and one more Beautiful job. Let's come through to a neutral spine. Walk your hands out slightly further forwards. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. And then carefully release yourself all the way down onto the mat through a half press up. Let's go ahead and have the arms extended long, legs extended long, feet as wide as the bottom corners of your mat, hands almost as wide as the front corners of your mat. Tuck your tailbone, belly button to spine, engaging your glutes here. Now let's lift both the arms up and hold. Pull your elbows all the way down towards your hips, squeeze your back body and extend your arms out forwards. We'll exhale to pull again and inhale to reach the arms out forwards. Keep looking down on your mat as you are doing this movement so that you're keeping your neck, your spine, the back of your head all in one line. We exhale to squeeze back, inhale to reach forwards. And this next one will be our last one. Squeeze the elbows back, reach your arms forwards, and now rest your upper body down onto the floor, stack your palms, hands rest your forehead down on the floor let's move on to some legs lift the legs up bend your knees bringing your heels together push up come back down and extend your legs back rest your legs so we lift the legs bend and lift release down extend the legs and release the legs back down again so we inhale lift and bend exhale to push up come down and extend the legs back Let's do that one more time. This time hold in your bent knee position and we'll just lift up and back down. So pushing up through the heels, lifting the knees and coming back down. Exhale, push, inhale, release. And two more. Last one, we hold at the top and let's pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, extend your legs back, hold your legs lifted, extend your arms, bring your arms up and let's go for a swim, kicking your arms and your legs. We have just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest everything, wiggle your hips and take yourself back into a well-deserved child's pose. Keeping your knees nice and close together to start off, feeling a nice release through your tailbone, through your shoulders. And let's come up onto our hands and our knees again. So shuffle yourself towards the front of your mat so you have enough space at the back. Let's tuck the toes under, belly button to spine, push into your heels, hover the knees and hold. Now extend your legs back one at a time and bend your knees back in one at a time. So we inhale to a plank and exhale back to your knee hover. You inhale, inhale, extend the legs, exhale, exhale, bend the knees in. Keeping the rest of your body really nice and still, so really draw your navel close in towards your spine, pushing the floor away with your hands. Stepping back into your plank, this time let's hold and let's bring right knee to left tricep, then left knee to right tricep in your mountain climber variation. So working through those obliques here, go at your own pace, we exhale to squeeze, inhale to come back to our plank position. Hold in your plank, now come down onto your forearms, settling into your forearm plank position. Now let's rainbow the hips over to one side and then over to the other side, inhaling to lower the hips, exhale to lift the hips. Keep your belly button close into towards your spine, just four more. And three, two, 
and hold through center in your forearm plank position you are so strong keep breathing we have just four three two and come up into your plank position hold in your plank last one here we can do it stay strong really push the floor away and exhale hips all the way back and up downward facing dog well done let's go ahead and have a little pedal through the feet through the heels bending one knee in at a time stretching the shoulders the legs holding in your down dog extend your right leg all the way up high then bend the knee and stack your hips bringing your right hip over your left pushing away through your toes then come back in through center hug your knee in and step your right foot in between your hands left knee down onto the mat let's come up into a low lunge position bringing your hands onto your right leg sinking low through the hips through your midline and lifting your chest away from your leg now let's circle the arms all the way up to the ceiling, interlace your fingers at the top and reach your arms up and back. Release your arms all the way down, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers again, feeling a nice stretch through your shoulders, lifting your chest up high. Now release your fingers, straighten your right leg and fold over the leg, hinging at the hips. Feeling a really nice stretch for the back of your right leg. Point your toes towards your face, dig your heel into the mat and pull your right hip back. Let's go ahead and bend into the knee, bring both your hands to the inside of your right foot, heel to your right foot out to the side, holding in your lizard lunge variation. Option to come down onto your forearms for a deeper stretch. Take nice, deep, relaxing breaths in and out here to ease your body into the stretch. Carefully come back up onto your hands and let's go ahead and curl the toes under the back. Bring your right foot all the way back nice and high in a three-legged downward facing dog and step your right foot in a downward facing dog. Left leg extends up high, we inhale, exhale to bend the knee, stack your hips, left over your right. Inhale to come back in through center, then as you breathe out, bend the knee in, step your left foot forwards in between your hands. Right knee down on the mat, tuck your toes out, place your hands onto your left leg, sinking through the hips, your midline, and bringing your chest away from your leg. Push your left foot into the floor to feel a stretch through the left glute, the hip as well. Now circle your arms all the way up to the ceiling again, interlace your fingers at the top, then reach back, opening through your chest, through your shoulders. And let's release the fingers, bringing your hands behind your back, interlace them again, reaching down towards the floor, lifting your chest, squeezing through the backs of your shoulders. And release out of your stretch, straighten your left leg, pull your left hip back as you fold over your left leg, hinging at the hips. Keep digging your left heel into the floor as you point your toes back towards you, pulling your left hip back. Bend into your left knee, bring both hands to the inside of your left leg, heel to your left foot out wider in your lizard lunge position. Option to come down onto your forearms if you prefer for a deeper stretch. Keep taking really nice relaxing breaths to ease the body into the stretch. And carefully begin to back off again, coming back up into your hands, curl the toes under, extend your left leg all the way back up high in a three-legged dog, then rest your left foot next to your right. Bring your knees down onto the mat and let's situate ourselves in a nice comfortable seat. Sit in any way that suits you.
and let's go ahead and bring the hands the fingertips out by the sides of the body bring your right arm up and over to your left as you come into a side stretch rotate your chest towards the floor then sweep both your arms over to your right side lifting your left arm up at the top let's go back rotate chest to floor sweep your arms one by one over to the left lift your right arm up at the top and then carefully return back up to your seat let's begin at the other side left arm up to the ceiling exhale reach over to your right rotate your chest towards the floor bring your fingertips down sweep both your arms over to your left then lift your right arm up in your side stretch opposite side let's go back rotate chest to floor fingertips down sweep both your hands over to the right and lift your left arm at the top one last time then come all the way back up again releasing your arm down let's inhale to circle the arms up to the ceiling and as you exhale bring your hands down through your midline thank you so much everyone for joining me today really hope you enjoyed that 30 minute full body intermediate practice as always if you did enjoy it um, do subscribe if you haven't and you can like this video if you want to you can also share the video with a friend or a family member who you think may enjoy it as well wishing you a really beautiful rest of your day ahead have an amazing week sending you all my love and i will see you again soon bye everyone